Like any well-balanced candy recipe, Hercules Candy and Chocolate Shop in East Syracuse, New York, is equal parts tradition, determination, and innovation. The family-owned shop's been around for more than a century, relying on small batch, handcrafted sweets to entice customers near and far. Our customers love Hercules Candy because so many of them have been coming here for generations. Whatever it may be, we're part of people's families and it is just not a holiday or a special occasion unless they have candy from Hercules. And that mythological name highlights the shop's traditional roots. In 1905, owner Steve Andrianos' grandfather and his two brothers arrived in the U.S. from Greece and soon opened the Hercules Candy Shop in upstate New York. In honor of their father, Hercules, Steve's own dad eventually ran the shop until 1972, before calling it quits. Inspired by his family's candy-making heritage, Steve reopened the shop five years later, dusted off the abandoned equipment, and got to work. Today, Steve, along with his wife, Terry, and his children, continue the family's candy-making heritage, and that sense of tradition is baked in the sweets themselves. So we do make our candy by hand because we're known for making small handcrafted batches. We haven't really brought too much technology into the actual cooking and we have not changed the recipes. Although every piece of candy is like tasting history, in other ways, Hercules' experiments with technology and flavor is Willy Wonka-level innovation. Craig Andrianos, a fourth-generation candy maker for those keeping track, launched the Hercules Candy YouTube channel in 2016 and quickly drew the eyeballs of millions of sweet-toothed netizens around the world. A video would go up and our sales would spike within hours. So that really changed everything for us. It enabled us to move to a new location. It was temperature controlled, humidity controlled. So we were able to introduce many new items and also make things that we could only previously make at Christmas time. One of Craig's earliest and most popular videos walks the viewer through Hercules' 100-year-old recipe for homemade ribbon candy. The candy's journey begins with measured lumps of sugar, water, corn syrup, and cream of tartar before it's tossed onto a gas stove, one of Hercules' more modern perks. So when our company started, it was very rudimentary. They made their candy over coal fire and they had gas lighting. So that just makes it kind of cushy for us candy makers in the, the 21st century. After heating up to 310 degrees Fahrenheit, the mixture is poured onto a table and the candy maker uses dough cutters to flip the liquefied candy as it cools while adding in the flavoring and food coloring. One part of the candy mixture is then pulled on a simple wall hook for aeration before it heads over to the candy heater. One maker then extrudes the semi-melted substance while the other molds it into the namesake shape. While the ribbon candy is one of Hercules' sweet staples, the shop isn't afraid to mix things up a bit. I will say that bringing something new to the market is fun because we can do it on a very small basis. We just made fruity pebble spark the other day and it's it kind of exciting to see how the public is going to receive that. Together, Steve and Terry have been running Hercules Candy and Chocolate Shop for nearly 40 years. And one day they hope to pass the candy making torch to the next generation. For now, they're happy to keep making sweets the way grandpa used to.